Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and Samsung Galaxy A73 5G is finally here in the house. So in this video, we will see the performance of the Galaxy A73 5G against the Xiaomi 11T Pro. And the Xiaomi 11T Pro has a Snapdragon 888 SoC with a 12 GP of RAM while the A73 5G has a Snapdragon 778G 5G SoC with 8 GP of RAM. On the back, we have quad cameras on the Samsung versus a triple cameras on the 11T Pro 5G, 108 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide. Also, we have 5 megapixel, which is a tele macro lens. While on the another hand, Samsung has the 108 megapixel optical image stabilization main camera with a 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and a 5 megapixel, which is a depth sensor. And the back of the Xiaomi 11T Pro is made up of glass while the Samsung has a plastic back and the frame of the Xiaomi is made up of aluminium while the Samsung has a plastic frame. Also we have in-display fingerprint scanner on the A73 versus a SART mode on the Xiaomi 11T Pro. On the bottom no headphone jack on both DC devices but both phones has a dual speaker so I am really really excited to see that how is the A73 is gonna stack up against the Xiaomi 11T Pro. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. So now let's start off with the boot up test. Here we go. And logos came up first on the A73 5G. And both phones is running on Android 12, later software, One UI version 4.1 versus a MIUI version 13 based on android 12 let's see who is faster when it comes to booting up and the 11t pro 5g faster when it comes to booting up and a73 also right behind there we only have a one or two second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up now let's talk about the displays on the samsung we have 6.7 inch full hd plus super amoled plus with 120 hertz refresh rate while on the Xiaomi, we have 6.67 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and this display can produce up to 1 billion colors. Vessels, I would say it is more smaller on the A73 5G because we have a nearly flat frame so which gives a more premium feel I would say over the 11T Pro 5G. Also we have punch hole on the center on both phones which is more smaller on the 11T Pro 5G. So so everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Now let's start off with the phone dialer that is faster on the Samsung. So next on the list is the settings. That one looks very similar on both phones. So now let's go to the display and you can see 120 Hertz refresh rate on both phones. Now let's check out some more application. Now let's start off with the Amazon shopping Snapdragon 888 versus a Snapdragon 778G faster on the 11T Pro. So now let's see the scrolling. Feels very very smooth on both phones and you can see. So now let's open this. That one faster on the Xiaomi again. So now let's check out some games application. This way we should see a difference between a flagship 888 versus a Snapdragon 778G. Now let's opening up Candy Crush Saga faster on the 11T Pro as you can see expected so let me show the speakers 11T Pro with max volume and you can see very good speakers so now let's see the A73 5G speakers I would say the speakers it is more better on the 11T Pro has a lot of bass. Instagram faster on the Xiaomi. Let's pin out faster on the 11T Pro and you can see and the Xiaomi is performing more faster in every single game application. Now let's open Snapchat that is very similar. Spotify that one is very similar again. Subwoofer, and you can see Xiaomi 11T Pro is performing incredibly fast and you can see this time we have a 2 or 3 second difference let's see temper and 2 
and Tampa N2 is very similar on both phones so this time it does not have any difference as you can see so now let's see PUBG Mobile we have Snapdragon 778G versus a Snapdragon 888 SoC this is a flagship SoC versus a high-end mid-range SoC expected 11 t Pro 5G faster there but we only have a one or two second difference and both phones is give you a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate no 90 fps on the 11 t pro so now let's opening up the tutor and that one faster on the samsung now let's open zedge that one is very similar scrolling looks really really smooth so last time i'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application let's see who is going to be the fastest one and Xiaomi is more faster regarding the cam performance a73 5G I would say it is a more better phone in terms of the camera wise so now look at the front facing camera so here is the front facing camera looks like on both phones and the front camera looks more better on the 11T Pro has a better colors now let's see internet browsing speed I am seeing the first Samsung internet browser on the Samsung versus a Google Chrome on the 11t pro so now let's see wikipedia.org that is very close let's see the scrolling in the start i see little lag on both phones but after one second 120 hertz is working really really smooth so now let's open this english very similar again scrolling wise both phones is handling absolutely fine next on the list is the apple.com and apple.com is done faster on the samsung while the xiaomi is taking a little more time so now let's see the scrolling scrolling wise both phones is handling this website very easily 120 hertz is looks really really smooth same thing with zooming in and out so now let's check our ram management on both phones we have 8 gp of ram versus 8 12 gp of ram on the xiaomi so now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM management. Samsung One UI versus Mi UI. Phone dialer, no refresh. Settings, Amazon shopping. Let's see Candy Crush Saga. Instagram, pin out. Snapchat, Spotify, Subway Surfer. And you can see RAM management looks really, really good on both phones so far. Temper and two. And you can see no refresh let's see pubg mobile opening up the tutor zedge and last way back to the internet browser and you can see and guys over have to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that and the xiaomi 11t pro is perform more faster as compared to the a73 5g i would say mostly in the games but in system based application both phones is performing very similar so the performance it is much better on the 11t pro 5g and the snapdragon 888 is showing its performance against the snapdragon 778g in terms of the ram image wise in that area both phones is performing very solid in the ram management and both phones also has a 5000 mh battery size we have 120 watt fast charging with the 11t pro 5g versus a 25 watt but with the samsung it does not get any charger in the box which is available with the xiaomi so thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Galaxy A73 5G versus the Xiaomi 11T Pro 5G. So let me know your thoughts regarding this speed test in the comment section below. And subscribe to my channel for more tech videos. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.